Hello, welcome to Rise. I'm Bill, and what we're going to be talking about here is configuring your joystick for first-time users. What I'm going to do is go down here to the configuration menu, click on the input tab, and you'll notice if I click on any one of the pitch, roll, yaw, those lines, it lists none, X52, Logitech Dual Action USB, and if you have a third joystick, it also lists that, but I only have two joysticks plugged into my computer right now. All of my devices are set to X52 flight controller, and I'll explain to you what each thing does, and we can go from there. Pitch, obviously, is the nose up and down, and that on the X52 is the Y-axis. The roll is rolling your wings left and right. That is the x-axis. The yaw is the rudder, which is the z-rotation. If you look carefully, you'll ha see that I have yaw and wheel both set for z-rotation. That is because when I'm flying, I like to be able to get into a car and just use the rudder as my steering wheel control also. So you can double up, triple up, however many things you want on the same controller and it will do what you tell it to. The thrust is the z-axis on my particular joystick. If you notice I have the left toe brake and the right toe brake set to the slider number one. On the X52, the slider is the thumb slider on the thrust um, on, on the throttle. I have them the, both toe brakes set to that slider so that when I'm in an airplane that has differential braking, I can't use differential braking. Frankly, I wouldn't want to without having a actual rudder pedal set that has real toe brakes because sliding two things simultaneously while flying just sounds like I'd need too many extra hands. Um, the gas I have set to the z-axis which is the th same as the thrust for the, for the car and all s aircraft and spaceships and the toe brakes are set to the same as the brake in cars. So let's power this up and quick hop into that T1 over there so you can see what the airplane can, looks like when you get into the airplane. And I'm going to power this up. As it powers up, you'll notice that the MFD is one of the last things to power up. There's the over monitor, the contact list, and your primary flight display. I can move the joystick in and out, left and right, and also play with the rudders. And if I look down, you can see the, um, oops, I want the brakes on so I don't drive too far. The thrust levers move also. And that's uh, E10 over there. I'm sorry, that's an E11 over there with a the larger flight display. Synchronizing onboard computer with portable device. And okay. once again, I have full control because I set everything up the way I wanted it to. If you have a joystick and rudder pedals and a separate throttle quadrant, you can actually set them all individually to different things.